Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Guys, before you buy a, a cordless screwdriver, I thought you might want to know this. Um, I had somebody send me one, a company sent me one to do a review. And uh, I don't like doing reviews of stuff I don't buy or use. So I, I get people all the time ask me to do a review, but, but if I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to just have them send me something I don't like. I'm never going to use. Uh, I prefer to buy something and, instead of having somebody send me something with a review. But uh, I said, you know what? It's a cordless screwdriver. I could use one. So I had them send it to me. But before they sent it, I sent them in. So w what about the, the battery? I said, do uh, how much do they cost? You know, where do I get them? I couldn't find anything about the battery. So, well, they said, you don't... <laughs> You don't replace the battery on this one. I said, well, what do you mean? Well, they said it was a two-year warranty. And so if it doesn't work within two years, they, you know, you get your money back. And I said, well, well what about two years later? You know, I mean, after two years, I mean, <laughs> I have stuff in my refrigerator <laughs> from the 20th century. <laughs> you know, two years is nothing. Uh, and they said, well, you know, you, you don't replace the batteries. You just, you know, if they go bad within two years, we gave you money. Well, well I... I kind of didn't like this so I said don't send it to me and they sent it to me anyway and when I got it it's actually a very nice tool it's excellent packaging it's wonderful literature uh, and the tool it, it looks like it'd be wonderful like if you have a, a Ikea furniture and you need to put stuff together but it's very light duty you're not going to be putting stuff through white oak um, it's a uh, it, it has the problem though is you cannot replace the battery um, easily so uh, I, I was going to leave a negative review and I looked online and on Amazon, all the other rechargeable uh, uh, screwdrivers, except for one of them, the Black & Decker cordless screwdriver, the AS6NG, it uses uh, regular uh, AA or AAA batteries. Normally you can just pop them right in. But the other ones, it looked like you need to open it up if you can and then remove the solder off the battery and then put a new one and solder it on and you can do that but how many people are actually going to do that after two years when this thing wears out it's going to be a 20 25 dollar uh piece of junk so if you're thinking about buying a, a screwdriver you uh have different options and one of them is to get something that once the battery goes dead you're going to have a difficult time uh, replacing it unless you get out the soldering iron and take it apart. And I want to tell you, I actually um, tried taking mine apart and it wasn't that easy. Now you can find the batteries, the rechargeable batteries, as rather inexpensively. So it's not that you can't find the batteries like on some items, but you have to get out the soldering gun. There is like uh, other alternatives that don't use batteries for years. I use a Stanley ratcheting screwdriver. When I used to make underwater camera housings, I had to put dozens of screws in, and they had to be snugged in just the right tension. And uh, I, I used a hand drill because I could feel right when it was. I, I actually tore off the heads of some stainless steel screws with the Stanley. It's a very powerful, well-built tool. It lasts forever, and it, it, it uh, doesn't require any batteries. But um, it doesn't work as quick as as a battery operated but there's other alternatives like i said you can get that really cheap stanley one um if you're not going to be drilling through wood uh, but i decided to take apart the little uh, tool i got and it was not that complicated but i ended up breaking the darn thing <laughs> i mean i'm not like a you know the biggest idiot in the world but I managed to break the stupid thing so it wasn't manufactured to take apart easily um, and you can do it and like I said the batteries are available but if you decide to get a cordless screwdriver you might want to think about what's going to happen when the darn thing breaks when the battery runs out so there like I said there's alternatives there's another alternative you could try is uh, I found at Harbor Freight has a rather decent uh, drill that has a you know you could has a slow speed you could use it for for just using on screws like a screwdriver and it's not that much bigger than the Tac Life and it was cheaper I think it was twenty bucks at Harbor Freight and the Tac Life was like twenty six bucks although it does come with bits so I I actually preferred 
the the rechargeable drill and use use it as a, a, a screwdriver. So those are your options, guys. And uh, you might want to think about if you do buy an electric screwdriver, what's going to happen once the battery runs out? Um, you're just going to end up with a piece of junk in a drawer. So that's my tip for today. And, and nothing against the Tac Life. I think it's a well built, excellent, well designed tool. I, I'm not saying it's a bad tool at all. It's just when it comes to the power eventually, it's going to run out and you're going to be screwed. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, take care and uh, see you out there.